This year, the weather was not kind, but the cold, wet and windy conditions did not dampen the spirits or the participation of all the runners who gathered before dawn for the start of this challenging marathon. We crazy people, they eh? get up this time in the morning and, and it's cold, but it's, oh, it's beautiful, eh? it's nice to, nice to be out in the country. It will be my first marathon at the PPC, so I really want to enjoy it. I've done the half twice a couple of years ago and I've got fabulous memories of the race. Um, great water tables, um, the community gets involved. I love the soup after the race. It's a great atmosphere. I'm getting sponsored um, by the municipality. And that's why. And it's a recycle bag, so if they pick me up next to the road, they will recycle me. We brought a whole team of 10, 10 people from, from Port Elizabeth. They're running today. I'm very proud of Norma. She's doing the 5K, the first time in her life that she's running. And uh, the rest of the team, uh, they're doing 10K, 10Ks this year, but next year, half of them will be doing the 21 as well. The start and finish take place on the property of PPC's Rebeck operation. And the undulating route leads athletes along tarred roads, past pristine stud farms, as well as along sand roads that wind round the back of Ribia Castile through farmlands, vineyards and olive groves. This is the 29th year that the PBC Cement Rivikberg Marathon is taking place. We have had an increase of entries year on year. This year we've reached kind of our highest. It's near, nearing 2,500 entries. Um, so from the social media side we've really grown. We found the engagement side on the social media side, people wanting to know more about the race, posting pictures, asking us questions, and really getting involved in the social media side of things. For the first time, we have um, Tanya Kowalski, who's a very well-known social media um, personality and blogger. She runs whilst tweeting, so it's very exciting to have her being part of the race this year and kind of see what she's going to create um, and the hype around it. So for the PPC Marathon, I tweeted while I ran, tweeted while I walked. Um, I also Instagram, Facebook, it's, it just comes naturally. I have a phone, it fits in my hand, and I simply tweet and share what I'm seeing and feeling. I always get great responses. People just want to see me finish, and they love what I'm tweeting, I hope. hope I'm not irritating too many people, but I think they love the angles that I'm showing. You know, I'm showing supporters, I'm showing amazing scenery, um, and I'm showing the spirit, I hope, of the race. There was a great camaraderie amongst the runners and with the spectators who also braved the weather to support the race. You gotta give me a good smile, man. Because I'm gonna do this backwards. <laughs> oh, well, a little bit sore, the heel, but Twitter on the right, lovely weather today. And only five k's to go. Oh, wow, part of my life. I do it on a regular basis, every weekend. So do you, appreciate, it. do you appreciate that PPC putting on a... Oh, yes, very much. It takes a lot of effort and time to, to organize these races. And we can only compliment them. Well done. Because it's lovely. It's in it's the pretty, country, right? beautiful market at the end. How often people. do you get to run with spring boxes and oryxes and yeah. horses? But beautiful. This was my first 21. Two years ago, no, three years ago. So, I come back every year. And at the finish, I always say, I'm not coming back. This was the last, but yeah, I am again. You've done this one before? Yeah, I won it last year. Okay. What do you think this year? You gonna make it? I'll finish. The event draws young and old alike, from avid athletes to experienced grandmasters, looking to enhance their comrades' marathon qualifying time. To the less fit, and perhaps novice runners for the more relaxed half marathon or walking the 10 kilometer race. All formats proved to be extremely popular with a record total of over 2,000 participants who braved a bitterly cold morning to enjoy the camaraderie of fellow athletes and the lovely Rebia countryside. We're really proud of ourselves at our age. <laughs> I think today was a beautiful day. Um, the weather hold up, there was a bit of a drizzle, but I think if you look at the amount of entries and so on, it was actually a great day. It's more than last year, and uh, if you look around and at the people, they definitely enjoyed it. There's a lot of smiles. I think all the uh, mar marathons, so half marathon, full mar marathon, and the five kilometer and ten kilometer went very well. It started on time, and there's a lot to do. Um, there's enough food, and there's some entertainment, so it's a great day. But the real beauty of this event lies not only in the scenic route, 
but also in the enthusiastic spirit of the local community who become heavily involved in the organization of the event, volunteering duty at water points and other activities. I'm from River Castillo and this is my 29th time I'm helping. I was 11 the first time. It is a community and family driven affair and one which PPC Cement is immensely proud to be affiliated with. Yeah, I think we've got some good uh, coverage, radio uh, coverage especially. I think the support from the community, we are part of a community, we have a major role player um, in the community in the Ribiak Valley, so we've got very good participation and uh, as I say, the kids, you, you could see with the prize giving, very excited, so uh, we brought a few smiles as well and uh, we've had very good support from the whole Western Cape. First man home in the marathon was 28-year-old Ricardo Jacobs in a time of 2 hours, 30 minutes and 7 seconds. Uh, the weather was nice and because it's a tough course. Uh, I think the weather was, uh, 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 was great today. Even if it was rain, even if it was gravel, but uh, uh, this is my third time in a row I win this race as a hat-trick and I'm very proud. I like Ribic and uh, I like come next year back to Ribic and defend my title. With the first female, Adele Waldron, finishing not that far behind in an impressive time of 3 hours, 22 minutes and 34 seconds. So I didn't really have a strategy, I just came to do my best, um, but I had a, a club mate that was pushing me and um, I'm very grateful to him, Brandon, and uh, he kept pushing me and motivating me so that helped. But I just came here to run my best and also uh, my partner's very ill with cancer, so I told him I'd, I'd try and win it for him today. Amongst the hundreds of athletes who participated was well-known South African long-distance runner Bruce Fordyce, who thoroughly enjoyed his run. It was fantastic except for the last 20 k. No, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Wonderful weather after all that, eh? Cool, man. I thought it would be miserable. This lady gave me a hard time. She's 50. Another well-known and well-worn face was Springbok rugby icon of yesteryear, Mornay Duplessis. There's a bit of oxygen. Let's stand up here. All in all, it was another highly successful, well-organized and most enjoyable PPC Rebeck Berg Marathon, which even the initial bad weather could not diminish. It was absolutely awesome. The weather held out. It was cold and windy, but it was really nice. We thought it would be rainy and it wasn't, so it was fantastic. And tell me Organization what? was awesome. Getting your stuff this morning from the registration was quick, easy, championship, fantastic idea, doesn't waste any time, so it was really, really nice. It was quite tough, um, it's a, quite a hilly race, um, obviously it was quite cold at the start, it's, it's winter, middle of winter, so it was very cold and um, we had a bit of a downpour halfway through, which was, uh, which was fun, and um, otherwise no, it was a very good run, uh, very well organised and um, yeah, we had a good time. Well, this is uh, one of the... The tough ones, but uh, we always like the challenge of the, of the tough races. Yeah, the PPC race, it's, a, it's an opportunity to run in the different scenery, not all the different races every time. And yeah, it's just that it's a beautiful race, it's well organized, a lot of people on the support. Next year I'll be back and I will do the full marathon next year. Probably the toughest 21 that I've done. I've only started running since Feb. Um, I've done the Oceans, I've done the Gordons Bay 21, but this, too many hills, <laughs> very, very tough, but enjoyable and challenging. Uh, this is a fantastic race, we actually, actually meet each other at half marathons and we did our first Cape Town marathon last year and we're going to do this year again. And today we've done under two hours and 45 minutes, that's, that's actually fantastic for a walk for the PPC and we enjoyed it thoroughly. Compliments are due to everyone involved in its preparation and organization. In particular, to members of the PPC Rebeck team, who worked so tirelessly to ensure the success of the event. Next year will be the 30th anniversary of this fabulous event. Why don't you consider entering in it? It is the perfect weekend for families, professional and recreational runners to come together to enjoy the breathtaking beauty of the countryside, as well as the warm welcome of the local community. This is one of PPC's oldest and most firmly entrenched events, which demonstrates our ongoing involvement with and commitment to the communities in which we operate.